Hey guys, so as you may or may not know, I am a third year at the University of Virginia and I had recently put up my house tour from a house that I lived in when I was a second year, but now that I'm a third year, I kind of wanted to give you guys an idea of what a two bedroom apartment off grounds in Charlottesville can look like. My roommate and I also re-signed our lease, so I do plan to be staying here my next year as well. So if you're interested in seeing what a two bedroom apartment can look like, stay tuned. All right, so now I'm standing in front of my apartment door, so let's go on in and check it out. All right, so now we're entering my apartment. And if you hear a loud noise in the background, I'm really sorry, that's just our heating and it's really cold, so I don't wanna turn that off. Um, okay, so we have like my record player on the side table, which is next to this couch. Um, we have a little coffee table. We actually picked up all three of these materials for free on UVA's um, free and for sale page on Facebook. So what will happen is when a lot of students graduate, especially fourth years, um, they will sell all their furniture for really cheap prices, so you can just pick it up from them. So we also picked up this our dining table for like 40 bucks, along with this rug that was 10 bucks. Um, yeah, so that's the door that we came from. We got a little TV on another side table that we just picked up for free. And even this TV, um, we only got it for like 40 bucks or something. Um, I just brought my piano from home. Okay, so that is literally like our entire living room. It's really small, but it really does get the job done. Um, all right, so now I'm gonna take you guys to the kitchen. Okay, so we have our fridge. And this apartment actually comes with a dishwasher, which is great. Um, so we put our little cutting boards there. Um, we have some appliances. The oven and stove. Okay. And we've just got some cabinet space. Um, I really do wish our apartment had more cabinet space, but we make it work. <laughs> All right. I'm trying to see if I can like make this in a way where you guys can see everything pretty nicely. All right. So now we're just gonna walk into the bathroom. Okay, so this is our bathroom. Just gonna turn on the light. We've got a little sink, some storage. Um, the mirror can open up, so I just put some of my little necessities in there. Um, the shower is pretty nice, especially compared to the one I lived in last year. <laughs> um, yeah, so I just picked up this little rack thing where I put my little hair appliances and whatnot, or shampoos, I guess not really appliances. And then, okay, so this part is just kind of really awkward. So the door just like runs right into this cabinet space we have, but it's not a deal breaker. Um, so yeah, I just, pretty decent space. All right, so now I'm gonna take you guys to my bedroom. Okay, so I have the room with the um, water heater in it. So this is not just like a closet. It's, I can't really store anything in there. All right, so I kept my tapestry in this room as well, but I just organized things a little differently. Um, this room is definitely bigger than the room I had last year, which is great. And I love the fact that this apartment has hardwood flooring, which makes it really easy to clean. Okay, so I put my desk here this time. And I don't, I still don't really use it that much because I study mostly in the library. And on my windowsill, I just have like cute little things just for decorations. So, well, the lighting is not the best on there. Okay. So yeah, this was another bedside table that I picked up for free, so that's great. Underneath, I just store more like um, face face stuff, I guess, like um, face wipes or face wash. I don't really keep it in the bathroom. I guess I'm just so used to using it in a caddy at this point that I just continuously do that. 
Um, that's just my bedside table. Okay, so this is my closet and I really try to fit everything in there because I don't have a dresser aside from the small dresser that you guys may have seen in my house tour as well. So for some reason, my closet did not come with the closet doors. So what my mom had suggested doing was that I use this bed sheet and just drape it over to make like a little curtain and just kind of safety pin it shut so I can still slide it and everything and it won't come down. So yeah, I keep all my clothes in there and really just try to push everything in there. At least it has some space at the top to store some stuff. And I keep some extra sheets and whatnot, towels in that little blue bin, some memorabilia and some of those pink bins. And yeah, just a lot of storage. I keep my shoes in here as well. The apartment itself doesn't have that many places for storage, so we have to try to be as efficient as possible. Um, I have some under space storage, but I really don't put much stuff there other than like some art supplies or just bags and whatnot. And then I try to keep all my books and whatnot in this little, uh, I don't even know, what do you call this? Uh, like a quad shelving kind of thing. Um, it was really cool because, again, speaking on that free and for sale page, I was able to pick up these really cool speakers. They're just monitor speakers, but I got them for five bucks, which was great. So I really suggest that if you wanna find things for your apartment or house or whatever, you really look on that page. So yeah, um, I keep my little space heater there just because I can get a little extra cold sometimes and I don't want to just break up the heating bill. So I'll use that in my room. I've got a humidifier, trash can, and yeah, that's basically everything in my room. Here I do my makeup. I have a little extra mirror there. I have the mirror where I can look at my outfits or whatever there. And yeah, let me just do like a final pan of the bedroom before I go with this. So that was my apartment tour. I hope that was thorough enough for you guys. If you have any questions about what it, what some of the differences I liked in living in an apartment or a house or any just questions about housing in general, just leave them down in the comments below. I really do love living in this apartment complex. It's so easy to clean and it's in an area where it's not too loud and whatnot. And everyone in my apartment complex is just really great and nice it's a really small one and the rent is like pretty cheap compared to other housing that you can find off grounds in charlottesville what's nice about this complex is that the complex also cover gave us parking passes it covers water and sewage and it also covers us with internet so the only things that we have to pay for include electricity and gas so i brought this up earlier but my roommate and i found so much furniture in the apartment for so cheap on the free and for sale page for uva on facebook so i really suggest when you're moving into a new place that you should check that out so you don't have to pay like a ridiculous price for things that you're only really going to be using um when you're in college like i'm Pretty sure my roommate and I will be selling a lot of this stuff after we graduate as well. So it's just like a really helpful page to look at. So if you guys are looking for furniture for next year or whatnot, I'm just gonna link the link to that page down below. Now it's gonna ask you for permission, but if you're a UVA student, you will be granted access to join the page. All right, yeah, so I really hope you enjoyed my little apartment tour. And if you have any questions, like I said earlier, please just like leave it down below, like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.